Today, come along with me for an easy day of chores from morning to afternoon. And tomorrow, I'll share a busy one. The first part of my morning is getting all the grain ready for the calves and the larger cattle. The bulk of what I feed our animals is rolled barley, but I can't help myself from experimenting with different things being added to it. So here I am adding some sunflower seeds and rice bran. I've been doing this for about two weeks now. As always, everybody is ready before I am. This pen is where we keep our bull calves and our goats. Don't be fooled, the goats are in charge around here. Soon we're gonna be handing out tetanus shots and making some steers. For all the boys except Hero, his manhood is marked safe. We have three rabbits and only one of them likes us. The rest of the rabbits will wait till I leave to eat. Time to move on to the next building and we're gonna feed our little crazies. This little red one is the most recently weaned so she's still convinced she's getting a bottle. These two girls go through water so quick, but it's a good thing. I fed the pigs next, but somehow had no footage of it. So here we are with Mona Lisa and the Angus Holstein cross. Since all the calves have been weaned, my mornings have been so much easier because typically I would be bottle feeding everyone first and then doing a grain feeding. I don't like how long the cats have been in these particular shelters, so I'll be showing you a video soon of where they moved to. My husband was homesick this day, so I also got our teenage flock some water. They're also moving soon. All the animals by the house are taken care of, so now it's time to go walk out to the barn, and we're gonna get the grain ready for the yearling herd. I actually beat them here today, so I love being able to get it all prepped and then call them in. Our Holstein requires more feed, so I do hold some grain back, and then I try to pay attention to where she ends up in the bins. Okay, now that everyone got their grain servings, it's time to walk the dogs. While I walk Masha and Bear, the cows usually follow the outline of their paddock as if they were walking with us. It's so cute. And of course, we're going to give them some extra loves while we're here. Cats. Once the dog walk's wrapped up, I'm going to go ahead and feed Masha and Bear. Our dog Bear is a Houdini, so you're going to see me wedge a pretty big brick bar in that stall door there. Dogs are taken care of, so now we're going to go turn some bedding. I do a deep litter bedding method, so I don't remove manure. So instead, what I do is I'm constantly turning it. So I take my pitchfork and try to get as close to the bottom of the bedding as I can, and I flip it over. About once a week, I add more bark chips to the bedding, which is what you'll see me do in tomorrow's video. The cow paddock is charged by a solar panel, which hasn't been holding a charge, so I cleaned it off and we're going to leave it off for a little bit. My husband, like I said earlier, is usually the chicken man. I forgot to feed the chickens. He is home sick today and resting, so here we are. I am the chicken captain. All right, time for second coffee o'clock. I came back inside to my kids awake, making their own breakfast. I'm not complaining. There was a time that I was a Starbucks caramel macchiato girly, so you're about to see my variation of a honey macchiato. And after my coffee, I actually showered. And just like that, it was time for the second feeding. I think I already mentioned this, but I do this four times a day. If you're interested in why I divide up my cow's feedings, I explain that a lot on my YouTube channel. Hero used to be really bad about blocking the door, and I've always had to tap his butt for him to move over, and now he just knows as I walk by that he can Thank continue you. to eat and just move. In the same sequence as earlier, we are now at the black and red heifer calves pen. I love this scoop because it actually gives me the measurement for pounds when it comes to oh oats, which barley and oats are pretty similar in size. Each right, calf guys, gets one Let's pound go. per serving and we do that four times a day, so they get four pounds of grain daily. One thing I haven't really talked about on my YouTube channel is when I do these feedings frequently, my animals just get so used to me being around. And you probably saw this video yesterday on my TikTok, but here are the pigs being absolutely adorable and being little babies. And since the pigs can be pretty competitive for food, I found it better to just spread it all around the ground. Here we are for round two with Mona Lisa and, as we call him, Big Black. They're fed, so it is time to trek back to the barn and feed the yearling cattle. I'll give you a little bit of different footage this time. Here is everybody running in for food. If you see some saliva, that means they're excited. Their bins were not pre-filled with grain because I wanted to capture them running and Snowdrop's not happy about it. for everyone else. If you want to know why these two have slowed down hey so guys. much, I also have a cute story about that on my YouTube. Okay, now that everyone's here, let's go ahead and get everyone's next servings. We're gonna let the dogs out again. Since Masha and Bear do not live in the house, we still make sure they live their best life. Around the second feeding, I do also bring a bale of hay out to the cattle. I'll also do this again in the evening if they've already eaten through the bale. I guess I could roll the bale out to the field, but I'm gonna use diesel.
right guys this video is almost done i spread out the hay for the cows and now i just need to go turn the solar panel back on present day i'm grateful that our herd has become really respectful about the poly wire when they were just a bunch of heifers in heat it was a different story so all right guys i'm gonna go edit some more videos and i'll see you on the next one